Chief, I get gist. <laughs> <laughs> See, eh, two days ago when Her Majesty sent me to the market, guess what? <laughs> I met this guy. Wow. <laughs> This monkey don't get boyfriend. <laughs> I still don't see her now. So she collect this from my mouth. You know I'm suspecting you. What? Are. That's why I came back late that way. <laughs> Hello girls. I um I came out here to talk to you girls. For a while now you all have been hostile to me. For reasons I cannot really say. And I'm not happy about it. Because before now, we used to be very close. We used to look out for each other. You guys were always there for me in my difficult times. And about all of a sudden, things have changed. I actually came here to ask you oh, what's happening. If it's something I did wrong, I'll just say sorry and we'll be friends again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. She does not know what she did. Wrong. Ah, but we all know what she did. Wrong. 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 Let me tell you something. You cannot fool any of us here. You can't fool us. That's all. Okay. Uh, well, I've talked to you guys and I can see nobody wants to talk to me. We don't. So, bye. I'll just leave them. <laughs> can you imagine? This bed get leave out. How about? Imagine the drama now. Girls, don't know what you do, bro. Gabi, thick madam. Please, girls, let me continue my gist before I was rudely interrupted by that swine. Now tell me, how did it go, Mom? What else do you want to hear? We went. For a function, we got late and we decided to stay back in a hotel. What's wrong with that? Well, my instinct tells me you intentionally stayed back so most of you can enjoy your privacy. Am I lying? Oh, I still you weren't too far from the truth, though. Well, what I don't know is why you refuse to understand that. Elodos continue to stay in this palace is a threat to this kingdom. What if she sneaks into the kitchen and poisons her food? Mom, like father said, that girl cannot hurt a fly. She can't. Besides, you've got people watching her at all times. What can she do? I know that her people hurt you. I know they killed your loved ones when way back but she's not like them she's not she, she's like a father i have heard you so that i am concerned about your attitude towards your education i don't understand that so that you are with Obin 24 hours of the day. Now, when do you have time to study and get yourself ready for law school? Yeah. Okay, now I understand. But I'm a woman. It's only natural for me to want to be around my man so he knows and understands what we share. I... I understand that. But you are both not married. He has not paid your bride price or performed the final traditional rights yet. So you need to finish your education right now and be ready when the marriage thing happens. Thank you, I've heard. Ujime monu ye miyagi ya kopalam shanyi gini ye mjime wigoji ya kopalam Ujime monu ye miyagi ya kopalam shanyi gini EMJ Mary God ya kopala mo Onye me ara mo nadiye Onye me ara mo nadiye Onye me ara mo nadi be wu ma kinu na o Onye me ara mo nadi be wu ma kinu na o o 
Listen, I'm sorry to hear about your father. Uh, please accept my condolences. I'm fine, my prince. My prince, you always smoke. Smokers are liable to, to die young. Come on. Back off. I'm sorry, your highness. What was that about? Forgive me. When will you learn to maintain your royalty? When? Eh? I see something in you that tells me that you may not succeed. Mom, with all due respect, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to stand here and... Shut up! I mean, woman that deserves an heir apparent that commands respect both in sight and in action. Not one that smokes, paying attention to ordinary palace slaves. You see, in all this, because you saw me talking to that innocent girl. Oh, yes! Yeah! Listen to me. That was a disrespect to a king to be like you. You should learn how to carry royalty, how to maintain royal culture and uh, the, 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 have your real status, I mean. I'm not in the mood for this. Of course you know what I'm talking about. Next time I see it, I'm going to take serious action. Privacy, like, did I invite you? I, I, I'm sorry, my prince. I don't mean to intrude on your privacy. You don't. You've already done that. Now get out of here. Get up. Go. I, I, I have come to discuss something of much importance. With discuss you. what? Tell me. I know my mother sent you. I know she sent you. So I have nothing to discuss with you. Get out of my sight now! My prince, why don't you hear me out first? I don't mean to upset you. I mean, as the best custodian of our traditions and culture of this kingdom, are I you trying to teach me my job? Is that what you're doing? You're trying to tell me what to do? I have nothing to discuss with you. Get out of here! Now! So you can cry. Because we all know that this one is crocodile tears. You understand? Seriously. I would never have believed from any other person. I didn't even I was not there myself. I don't understand. What did I do wrong? What did I do? You, you're a dog that eats up the hen's egg without a bag. I swear, this palace no longer contains us. You're a witch. Hola. Do you just know what you are? You're just a pure witch. That's what you are. First, you smiled away into the king's hearts. And then you made us for your cheap lies. But one thing is for sure. Just remember that I, Ogochuk, is watching in this palace. Remember that. Even you? Even you? How can you say this 
what did I make us go make this speech? doing here according to ethics a good employee should be able to help others when he or she has completed her duties hmm? he or she should be able to do things that needs to be done without being told so can I help you I know that loyalty loyalty is a characteristic of a good employee I am only related to your majesty or us. So leave this place. <laughs> Wait. I don't are you still talking about this issue? Not again. Oh god, don't even agree me, please. I want you to understand that the prince and his father are two different people. Okay? Fine. You bewitch the king. Fine. Me? But let me tell you, your charm cannot lure the prince into your bosom. Do you understand? Always know that gold is very, very dear to us. And Her Majesty is yes. Go! Can you imagine? What nonsense! I'm in a hurry. Ah, son. The first thing you will learn about women is patience. Huh? She has to be well put together for you. Hmm? Be patient. She'll be here in a minute. Huh? Alright. You're not even dressed? Hey, calm down. Look, I'm a lady. You don't brush me. I need time to take care of myself. That's my hair. Mm -hmm. I love this one. I think you know what to do. Babes, I'm not a piece of grocery. You could just pick from the supermarket and drop it. Hey, give me time. I need to look good for you. All right, I'm just. Yeah, right. Go put something on, <laughs> please. people look up to him. My elders, I greet you all. I'm really sorry about what happened the other day. You see, I just got back and I was tired and my mom was just, you know, trying to be protective of me. I'm really sorry. The thing in the envelope, it's, um, since I'm not going to take you back myself, it will serve as transport for all of you. Igwe! And I hope that you will all come to me whenever you need assistance for anything. Anything at all. Please, sit down, my son. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Igwe! We never expected this gift. In fact, we didn't know that you appreciate us. Yes. No, no. On behalf of my fellow elders, we wish you luck in all your endeavors. Yes. Yes. Our ancestors 
will keep going with you it's anywhere yeah. you go. Yeah. And more progress ahead of you. Yeah. Thank you very much, my son. Thank you. It is well with you. That's <laughs> and air. Yes. Thank you so much. My son. I am sorry for being nasty towards you because of your relationship with Oledo. I was wrong. I'm sorry. It's not a problem, Mom. It's okay. I am beginning to see her from you and your father's perspective. Everybody in this palace loves her, except me. That means I am the problem, not her. Mom. True greatness lies in kindness. And one of life's most urgent and persistent question is what you can do for others. I'm sorry. It's all right, Mom. So tell me, what are we having for dinner? <laughs> I need to see the cook first. Please, I'm telling you. I, 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 I don't understand all this. I, I am telling you honestly. Please. Ichidime. Ichidime, please. Don't let us drag this further than we should. Please, spare me all this. I am not interested. My love died with Linus. Do you realize Linus you are talking about was my only brother? I mean, is this bastard? Allowing other idiots take undue advantage of you at night. No, 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 no. Point of correction. That has never happened before. And it will not. I repeat, it will not happen. Please. And let me make this clear to you. I can't get emotionally involved with two brothers. That's correct? Two brothers? Yeah. One is dead and buried. I am still alive and kicking. You see, the chemistry of life is that both of us are emotionally attached to each other. Oh, yes. Look, I can't cease wanting to marry you. Oh, my God. I know I love you. Ichidime. Professor. <laughs> Professor. Yeah, that's correct. You are losing your sanity. That's correct. Please, trying to take undue advantage of my widowhood. Yes, that I am not going to allow. Oh, come on. You must allow it because I love you. I mean, come on. Hey, you woman, I got to marry you because I saw you in my dream last night. You see, we are meant to live together. If I marry you, I'll take you to Massachusetts. Yeah, we will live our life. I'm going to stay with you. I'm going to live with you. Wish you. Paranuma, I won't name name Paranuma, where she go to do Paranuma, go to do Paranuma. Greetings, Your Highness. Uh, such golden, angelic voice. Thank you, Your Highness. And uh, where are the others? Um, they are in the living room, Your Highness. Okay. Um, Your Highness. Yes. I want to ask you a favor. Oh, come. Fire away. Your Highness, I... I need money for my extra moral lessons. My exams are fast approaching. Is that what you are finding it difficult to, to say? All right. Go and see the accountant and tell him that I asked you to see him. Oh, no, no, Your Highness. I'm sorry, I won't bother you again. I, I don't thank you, Your Highness. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. I am neither blind nor deaf to the antiques of Lolo. When I get back, I'll search it all out, okay?
Sister, come in. You, you kept me waiting. I'm sorry. You know I had to wait for the coast to get cleared so I don't get caught. Meaning? The queen. She forbids me from entering anywhere else in this palace apart from the maid's room. I don't know what I did exactly. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Um, that bad. Take it. Okay, where should I take it? It's for you. It's a gift from me to you. <laughs> I hope you like the things we met. <laughs> for me? Yeah. Thank you. No, no, no. Oh, I beg you, because you don't do that. Don't do that. Please. Oh, my Take it as a gift from me to you. I'm so good. I hope you like the things in there. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. I'm beautiful. All right, right Alan. You have to go before the Queen Mother comes. Bye. Take <laughs> care. I like what you did. I'm so impressed. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good. Ugochuku and the other mates are holding her. Okay, okay. Just ensure she doesn't say anything to anyone. I will do just that. She's appearing before the king anytime from now. Let me go and dress her. <laughs> okay, ma. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder what came over. That girl is a nice girl. She's she's someone I take like my sister, like a friend. I chat with her, I laugh with her. Why would she do that to me? Why would she have to lie against me? I give her things, I give her my clothes, I give her a lot of things, but yes, she had the guts to lie against me. Why? Are you even listening to me? What is it? I said something. Are you serious? You're not listening to me at all? Baby, what is wrong with you? I've been shouting, I've been talking since, and you're not even listening to me. I, I'm, I'm trying to listen. You're in the public place. I am shouting. Am I shouting? Is that all you do? Smoke? I'm talking to you and you are smoking. Honey, we're in a public place. We're in public. People are listening to us. Let me shout. Let them know that you smoke and you drink a lot. Is that what you do with your life? Smoke and drink? What is wrong with you? What? Honey, honey, just bring your voice down. I'm not bringing my voice. Let him hear me. This is a man who's supposed to be my husband. I am supposed to be your wife. When I talk, you listen to me. When I know my boyfriend will not listen to me, all he does is smoke. He smoke and drink his life. What is wrong with you? What? Am I shouting? Come on, I'm listening. A package pack of insults. How can the heir apparent to the throne smoke in public? How? Babes, my boyfriend doesn't smoke less than five packets of cigarettes every day. Mm -hmm. And he drinks dry gin, dry tea. Mm -hmm. Is that why you're complaining? <laughs> Listen to me, Gold. It is a gradual process. You cannot change him overnight. <sighs> you know this man cannot do without some certain habits. They're either drinking, smoking, or Chasing women. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Chasing out of it. My boyfriend doesn't chase. He doesn't chase women. He doesn't drink. And he doesn't smoke too. He drinks, he smokes. He doesn't. I don't know. You're very sure about that. I beg. Okay, I don't like it. Yes, I, I don't like it. I, I, I told him, but he's not understanding. No, I'm even angry. I'm so, so angry. I've been trying to call him all day and he's not picking. And he's not even calling me. Why? 
Why should he pick your calls when you walked out on him in public? Fine, we had a little misunderstanding. And I walked out on him. Why, why didn't he follow me? Am I not a woman? A woman walks out on him, you to follow her. Oh, after disgracing him. You did you want to walk out on him? I can't do that to my boyfriend. I'm even trying to call him, he's not even responding, he's not. Try and learn again. <laughs> Ola, what is it? You're crying. Hey, why are you like this? You're crying. Talk to me now. What is it? Good. The princess fiance mm -hmm. told me to come to her chamber, so I went. On getting there, she gave me a gift. She gave me shoes and some jewelry. That she gave them to me from her heart, so I took them. I was coming downstairs when the chief met and the queen saw me. The queen said the jewelry belonged to her. Hey! I told her, go give them to me, but go denied me. Hey! She said she didn't give me anything. My goodness. I knew it. I knew it. I woke up this morning, I was restless. But I can't just place what was wrong with me. Hey. Lolo Geze. Why? Why? What did my daughter do to you? That you should humiliate her this way. I want you to know that it is Lolo Geze that asked God to do that. And if we should also know that. My daughter. Ma. Don't worry. I'll never. I'll never go back there. No. Never. Don't talk I cannot me. walk there again. Don't talk like that, my daughter. Please. Please. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's just two months out of two of you. Mm -hmm. Mama. It's better for me to die in this house of hunger no, you're not going than to, to live die. in that hell they call a palace. I'll no, never walk no, there again. No, 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 you're not going to die. It's okay. okay. I know it. Didn't I say it? But it's going to happen in this palace one day. Hey, Cavalios. Hello. That's what she is. Mm -hmm. eh? <laughs> You know she builds in this palace. That she's the only good one. My goodness, I'm so so happy. That means she's a sleeky, slimy snake. If I talk like you, start talk too much. I have to keep my mouth shut. Keep smoke. You can say that again. You couldn't let her shoot. So open the and go. We have their privacy. What is it? Thank you. I'm so excited. Eh? I'm so happy. See, at least now her majesty will start loving us. Like she used to before she she, she came and spoiled everything. Nonsense. <laughs> Jesus. At least there's peace again in this palace. <laughs> 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 Do you send for me? Yes, um, um, are you all right? You look, you look, you look sad. Old trouble, then. Good? Who else? She keeps nagging me, disgracing me in public. In public. My son, please, be a bit patient with her. You see, women, women, when it comes to nagging, and that includes your mother, oh, they, can, they, can, they can send a man mad. I regard them as children. If you do that, <laughs> Uh, you will you will have some peace of mind because a nagging wife can give a man or send a man to mental home. <laughs> 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 <la
<laughs> Where is she? I don't know that. Mm. Mm. You see, in marriage, son, you have to be a bit careful. You cannot, you, you cannot think for one anymore. It has to be for two. Everything you do. Just be patient. We are getting to know each other. You know you are living in your own different places. Now you live together. Everything now is one. It's not easy. What is the matter? It's over five minutes that I came in here since you summoned me. You've not said anything. You have succeeded in pushing out that innocent girl. But let me tell you. Your conscience will torment you till the day you die. Truly <laughs> speaking, Your Highness, I am not aware of what you are talking about. I don't know where I come into all this. Um, to be candid, she was caught with those items in the nylon bag. Were you not the one who said that as long as she lived in the palace, you will make her life miserable? Your Highness, with all due respect, did you hear yourself? Can you just listen to yourself talk? Your slave was caught red-handed with my daughter-in-law's pair of shoes, my gold earrings, and my wristwatch. And all you can say is that I said, God. Anyway, I thank the gods that she left with her misfortune. Your Highness, the situation not be in Naya's room. You must say defended. What? What? Open there. It is room. You Igwe, the diagnosis revealed that your son has bad kidneys, sir. Remedy, doctor. Um, two things are involved. There. Yeah. Look, I, 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 I don't mind. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. But my son must get well. If we can find a donor with a matching kidney, mm. we will carry out kidney transplant, or he will live on dialysis, which is very, very expensive. Uh, um, can I donate my own? Yes, of course. Right. Uh, so what do I do? But we have to carry tests to see if you are physically fit with a healthy kidney, sir. Can we, can we start the testing today? I will get back to you on that, sir. Please. Yes, sir. Anyway, I'll be on my way. My son must live. Yes, he will. I see what I can do, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Doc.
Your Highness. This dialysis of the thing, when will it even end? When will it end? Eh? When will it end? Your Highness, why don't you use your position as the king and ask one of these commoners to donate their kidney for my son, obi Eh? I'm sure if you ask them, a person or one of them will donate their kidney. After all, one of them gave his life for you. So they will quickly donate kidneys for my son. Since when did the uh, commoners uh, become very important to you? I had assumed that they are all slaves. Uh, common ones for that matter. What you are talking about here is the heir apparent to the throne. Your Highness, let me be happy to my son. My son must not die. You have to do something. If anything happens to my son, oh my goodness, I'm going to pull down the entire kingdom. Uh, the priest, is he going to be okay? okay. I hope so. So where are you coming from? Are you from the hospital? No, I I went to check for something. Is it about the prince? Yes. The prince is very ill. But all I know is kidney ailment is a serious ailment. He only needs our prayers, that's all. I came as soon as I heard. Oh, uh, uh, doctor, how is he responding to treatment? Very well, sir. Good day. Thank God for that. Not even one to know. We've searched everywhere. We've appealed to everybody. Not even one to know, Mona. Ah. Not even one kidney up till now. People are wicked. Your Majesty, it is not as easy as you think. If we are lucky to find a kidney, it has to go through a series of diagnoses to find out if it's a healthy one and a matching type before we could transplant. Oh, 
one is not even enough. Oh God. Oh God. Hello? Your Highness. Up to now you've not been able to get one dollar. Eh? All the people you have been favoring, one way or the other, not even one of them, has volunteered to donate one kidney for my son. If anything happens to Obinna, if anything happens to Obinna, ah, this whole kingdom will know that something has happened to me. Sweetheart, Obinna was advised against all that smoking and drinking. Did you listen? No, you did not listen. Did you listen to me now? Did you? This is not the time to talk about that. What we should be concerned now is how to get a donor. But, but there's nothing you can do about that now. I give him mine. What? I give him mine. I can't stand him dry like that. He's my husband to be. I give him mine. No, 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 no. Go! Go! Please, no. this is not the right place for you to be crying. Pull yourself together, okay? I suggest you go home, get on your knees, and pray to God. <laughs> Maybe he might send it down to us. I think about your marriage all the time. I do. But you are not going to do that. Now, for now, let's just get, wait until he gets better. That, I'll do it. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to save him. Let me just give it to him so no. this marriage can work. Let me just do it. See that you are not doing that. You are not. That my mind is made up. Enjoyed today's class. It was so interesting. Baby, why are you frowning your face now? What is the problem? I won't see you again. I learned that people that go there always marry or you go to go. This your frowning your face will not stop me from going to abroad to study. Stop frowning your face and stop this crap. How do you expect me to marry when I'm being betrothed to you? Listen, baby. My main purpose of being here is to inform you about the party, okay, my friend? It's organizing for my send-off. And I hope you'll be there. When are you traveling? Won't end. But, but the party will hold at if before my departure. I wish to see you in Okay's house this evening. Okay's house? What about his parents? They know you are my wife to be now. Baby, there is nothing to bother about, yeah? Okay. Sorry I was too hard on you. Very sorry. But I've confirmed today that you are truly a virgin. And I love you for that. And I cherish you the more. Hmm? Although it was a very painful experience. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. What about the blood? The blood? Stopping casually. 
think I have a slight headache. Okay, let me take you for a crucial one. Okay. I must see the doctor. I must see the doctor. I can see here the posteriors, the match each other. Oh my god. Oh god, I thank you. Doctor, oh, thank you. So when we go back, that is if she realizes she's making blood. God forbid. Look, I'm going to go in there and I'll come out alive. I know that. Because what I am owing that share is love. It's not lost. It's love. Love indeed. I'm your friend, okay? And I cannot deceive you. Do you think that if you are the one lying down on that sick bed, that your so-called Obina will come close to you? If you would even come to see you, how much more donating is keeping for you? I touched your head so much. I am really close to it. And I think I'm in the best position to tell you the position of your children at the average children. But chances here is 50-20. You're not even sure. Do you know that if you give him your kidney and he doesn't tally with his body system, he will still die? And I'm sure you don't want to be a young kid. Okay. Do you? You have to think. Think! Besides, do not forget our exams is around the corner. Okay, um. What are you asking me to do? You have the chance of walking away. Everyone is waiting for me. The doctor is waiting. His parents are waiting. I'm this. I. First of all, I have to switch on the phone. I'm stuck on your going no way. What is wrong with you? But I love Obina. I love him. Like, uh... Listen to me, girl. You cannot displease yourself and please other people. Besides, you're a pretty girl. You have a beautiful future ahead of you. What's wrong with you, Gold? Your Majesty. I've been waiting for hours now, and the donor seem not to show up. I better let the surgeon who's been waiting on for a long time now to go home. Doctor, please, let's give her some water. She might just talk. Please. I understand that she voluntarily wanted to donate her organ. She can as well change her mind. But if she turns up, you know where to find me. Here in the surface. I'm, I'm calling her now, please. Doctor, please. Don't tell the surgeon to go. Let's give her some time. Please help me. Hello? Hello? Oh, 
Mom, why are you crying? What did the doctor tell you to make you cry like this? Am I dying? <laughs> you will not die. Mom, please talk to me. God of our ancestors will not let you die. You will live for me. You will not die. Oh God, I put my son in your hands. I put him in your hands. Don't let my son die. <laughs> Tell me, am I dying? No. What is wrong with me? You will not die. Our ancestors will not let you die. <laughs> to fall upon this family. Before God, I put my son in your hands. And I know, I know that my son, the day he was crowned the heir apparent, you already had some shot to this problem. And I trust you, our God. You have never disappointed me. You will not disappoint me in this home. I said that this cry from beginning. Begging them. Begging them not to do this evil. <laughs> Are you still doing here? You should be at the hospital. Dad, I changed my mind. Oh, did you now? Now you change that mind again and head for the hospital now. Or did I not warn you? Okay, fine. I know it was a mistake. But I thought over it and I decided not to do it again. Good. I am not going to allow you to bring this repute to my name and my family name. Okay, so now you prepare yourself and go to the hospital. Now. Dad, why are you behaving like this? Why are you doing this now? I said I changed my mind. I don't want to do it again. Well, you will change that mind again, young lady. And go to the hospital. Now. Didn't I warn you?
understand. Looks like you need some fresh air. Yeah. I'll take you outside. Ben says so. <laughs> Leave us. Mom. Yes. I need to know about this operation. I need to know who donated the kidney and I need to know who the surgeon is. Mom. I need to know. She's the donor. She warned the doctor not to mention her name to us. She's so scared that we might lose her. Kept it hidden. She shouldn't have. Why? She knows why. Easy. Easy. I want you to give my daughter in law this provision. It is for her to recover fast. I don't want her to look sick at all. Thank you, Your Majesty. And the money, too. She should use it to buy whatever she pleases. Your Majesty, the money, is it really necessary? I'm not giving you. I'm giving my daughter-in-law. I think I have the right to give her whatever that pleases me. Uh, yes, yes, you do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I'm sure she will gladly receive that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank well, of course, you. she can't refuse anything from me. my regards and my son-in-law they will hear please don't forget to tell gold when she wakes up to call me very well everything is sealed up she doesn't need to bother herself about anything thank you
What are you doing outside? You were supposed to be inside resting. Ah, I'm just exercising myself. Oh, I see. Where have you been? I've been looking for you. Oh, the queen and I went to see gold in the morning. How was she? Oh, she's doing fine. Full of life. <laughs> That's good. In fact, we met her walking around just the way you're doing now. Yeah, okay. And guess what? What? She sends her regard. Yeah, that's good. Let's go. Oh, I see. Hey, baby. How are you doing? I'm all right, baby. How are you? I'm cool. Listen, um, Emma told me everything. I've heard everything that you did for me, and I'm very grateful. And I want you to know, I'm not going to forget in a hurry. And I love you so much because of that. I love you more. You know I love you too. And I love you so, so much. Babe, I just realized that I can't do anything without you. <laughs> you have a very big space in my heart, OK? Yeah, same here. I love you so much, Sudan. Okay. Thank you. So, how are you feeling? Oh yeah, well, a bit relieved. I'm, I'm, I'm walking around now. I'm better. Wow! Thank God. I'm so happy you're recovering fast. <laughs> so, um, when are you coming over to the palace? Oh, as soon as possible. I'll come. But we need to recover first. You need to recover. I need to recover. I'll see you soon. Okay. <laughs> All right, but I'm looking forward to seeing you. I can't wait for you to come, okay? Make sure you come soon. You know I love you so much, right? I love you too, babe. Take care of yourself. What are you doing? Follow me around. Love That's not gonna happen. Life. Go back inside, okay? I don't need you. You sure about that? Love yeah, I'm sure about that. Go back inside. Never, never sees. Love brings pain, but the pain will surely go away. Love gives happiness. Love gives life. Real love, true love. True love gives life. Chase your fears away Give you strength from day to day Cause true love gives love Oh, well, um, Dr. Obed, uh, since you said um, uh, it was just a secret between you and the donor, I would just pretend that the donors were uh, my daughter had gold. Now, that will save uh, the situation. Sit yourself. You know why? The donor did this out of charity. And I'm not contesting what you just said. Oh, you're such a wonderful person, doctor. Uh, and you did a good job. Um, I'm offering you this, this token for, for a good oppression, a wonderful oppression you perform on my son in law. Oh, come on. Why this? This is an, this is an insult. No, no, it, it's, just, it, it's just a token. No. No, I swore an oath in front of the donor that I'm not going to take a dime from nobody and I'm not going to say this to anybody. Thank you for your kind gesture. Well, well, but uh, doctor, I still believe you're such a wonderful person. A wonderful job you did too. I guess I'll take my leave now. Hello, Your Majesty. I thought 
that you should have been on bed by now. Oh, how I wish I could. Is anything the matter? Any medical attention, sir? I do not need any medical attention. All I want is the identity of the secret of oh, anonymous donor who has given my son a new life. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Um, this is a professional issue, sir. Look, Dr. Ben, I give you my word. I give you my word that you tell me who the donor is and it will be a secret forever. Here is a man who has given my son a new life. Donated from his own a kidney for my son. Oh, I did... I deserve to see that person. I deserve to, to thank that person. Uh, anyway, I, I am the king. Is it too much to ask? Well, I, I can see you're battling with indecision. I, I'm, it's quite understandable. <clears throat> Tell me. How much do you want me to drop? And I will drop it. Your Majesty, I crave your noble indulgence. This is a professional issue. I made a note of secrecy, which is supreme. I cannot be undermined, sir. Good night, Your Majesty, and let's leave this as a professional issue. Good night, Dr. Ben. Big trouble in Little Chinatown. Who is this person who has donated something as important as a kidney and is not willing to be thanked? Everything so confusing. Mama, hola. I have a confession to make. Confession? Please sit down, sit. Sit, sit. Okay? Sit down. I. Look, I'm listening. I I donated my my kidney to the prince. What? How? Hey. Hola. Hola, you have killed me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I just wanted to save a soul. Hmm. I didn't know you feel like that. How could you do a thing like that without telling your mom? Hey! You remember the time I told you I wanted to go to Enugu? Yes, yes. For intensive jam blessing. Mm -hmm. For two weeks. That was when it happened. Hey! All this for me. Yeah. Me mo kunu son kemwe. That's all I have. Oh. When you get there, remember your studies. Oh. Remember the reason why you're going to Enugu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take your studies seriously. Yes, Mama. Mama, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Let me put all of them in this bag. Let me put all of them so that you carry them. Say that young lady. Thank you. My nurse said that you wanted to talk to me. What is it? Um, yes, doctor. Um, um. Doctor, I... I want to donate my kidney to the prince. So I want you to conduct a diagnosis and be sure that it matches with his so you can save his life. He's a very nice man. He's too nice to die. I don't want him to die. 
do you know the implications? If I'm going to do this, I need your parents' signatories, both of them. Doctor, my parents are dead. They died a long time ago. I'm an orphan. Doctor, we need to do this fast, please. So the prince can be alive, please. If you insist, I need somebody, your relatives, your uncle, auntie, or your cousins, somebody, before I can do anything. Okay, okay, no problem, doctor. But, doctor, you have to swear for me. You have to do it for me. You have to swear with your life that you will not, on any circumstance, disclose my identity to the prince, to the Igwe, or to any member of his household. You need to swear. Please. You're awake, eh? Yes, um, Doctor, how is he? Oh, you mean the prince? Yes. Yeah, he's awake. And his parents are happy about you. No, 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 I didn't, I didn't say anything. Honestly, cross my heart. I kept it the way we planned it. Doctor, I have to beg you again. They must not know anything about me. Please. No problem. I will just do that. Thank you, Doctor. You get some rest, okay? Very I'll see you later. Be yourself. The only I know who woke up in the morning, finish her shows before 6 a.m. So tell me what the problem is. Mama, I'm fine. It's just that from the moment I left this house and went to Enugu, it was reading, reading, reading. Mama, reading in the morning, reading in the afternoon. You read all night. I had very little sleep. You know, Mama, I don't want Jam to tell me stories this year. I must call nothing less than 290. Amen. That's what you get, my daughter. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Hold on. Tell me, what do you intend to gain? You remember what happened to us at the palace? Mama, I'm sorry. I just did not want the prince to die. I'm sorry. Please, I'm so, so sorry. You, you, you won't believe how sorry I am. I feel stupid. I, I, feel, I, feel, I feel ashamed of myself. Just listen to me. I... No, Mom. No, you listen to me. That girl gave everything. Everything for us. And what did she get in return? I don't even want to think about it. Humiliation. And disdain from you that you want me to believe it's some some kind of mistake yeah I, it was all a mistake I, I never knew things were the way they are now i'm so sorry i, I, I can't think of it Obi, i'm very sorry my actions were not deliberate I was only scared of death. I really wanted to give you my kidney. Why would I want to save your life? I love you so much. I could do anything, but I was scared of death. I should be thankful to Ola for doing it. Else everyone would accept to do it. She's a good woman. She has a good heart. Not everyone would want to give one of my kidney to someone. I'm not asking you to take me back as your wife. I am not asking you to marry me. Please. Give me. 
Forgive me, let me just move on with my life. Take her as your wife, she's worthy, she's worth it. She's, she's the best thing that could happen to you as a wife. She's worthy to be called your wife. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, my son. Oh, I'm sorry. I am delighted to be talking to you. As your king. It gives me great joy to see you all. Once again, I say welcome. Uh, my joy knows no bounds. Because uh, a new treasure has revealed herself in this kingdom. Alida, the daughter of late Linus, like her father, has exhibited great joy and love for this kingdom. And this is what we regard as brotherliness. And I urge all of us to exercise this brotherly togetherness. Uh, Olido is a very shy, very modest young lady. She has never asked for anything. But whatever she asks for, we shall give her. <clears throat> With due respect, Your Majesty, the open request you offered this poor girl is diversional. It is very clear to all and sundry that Oledo's kidney is planted in your son. Now that simply means that Oledo is already living in him. So I suggest that the best way to reward her benevolence is for the prince to marry her. I don't know. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Nine. I did not donate my organ, particularly because I wanted to break into this palace. Or get the prince to marry me. No. I did what I did because I realized that if I did not do it, our prince may die. And I do not want that. I'm happy that he's alive and he's back on his feet. That is all that matters to me. Now I'm I'm required to, to make a request. I wish to make just one request. My people and my clan, we've been treated as second class citizens in this kingdom. We are regarded as nothing because it has been made to circulate that we are not in the same class with the Umwana people. My people do not even have a representative amongst the council of elders that make laws in this kingdom. I want all that to change. I want my people to be accorded the same status Given to men and women of Umwana Kingdom. I want the discrimination against 
my people to see it. I want everybody to just acknowledge that we are all created by one God. And that we are all equally the sight. That is all I ask. That is all I ask, Your Highness. Thank you. Thank you very much. All of us, I'm sure we've heard a very passionate speech. I'm sure that only a madman would disagree with the fact that all men are created equal. Equal before God and equal before the law. That's how it is. And that is how it must remain. This discrimination has been going on for a very long time. I hereby decree that all forms of discrimination are hereby removed. <laughs> Father saved the life of mine. He sacrificed his life for mine so that mine can restore peace and stability to this community, to this kingdom. And for that peace to last, Ndubisi, your father's killer, was struck down by the guards. He was found dead in a hotel room. What killed him? Well, he just went to sleep and never woke up. The autopsy says it's um, cardiac arrest. But I believe that he incurred the rot of the gods and they struck him down the same way they chose me to continue my father's work. That is my destiny. What is yours? I, I... You saved my life so that I will be the future king of this kingdom. So I believe that your destiny is to be the future queen of this kingdom. Therefore, a lady, will you marry me? My prince, the gods restored peace in this kingdom. This same God cannot bring up an emotional war. God loves you. And no other woman would love you the way she loves you. I also know you love her too. You and your father just believe that you owe my family everything you have. And that is why you're offering me this chance. I understand that. But... The fundamental question is, are we doing the right thing? Let's not hurt people. Listen, we love each other. 
but it's just in the context of brotherhood. Please, let's not make this mistake. Please. All I do, I... Listen, I do not want you to say anything. I just want you to go home and think of all I've told you. Please. No, 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 no. Are you walking out on me? I mean, where is that if daughter of yours? Why would she turn on the place? Now you fully well. How we need this attachment into royal citizenship. It should be my, I, honestly, I understand your point. I understand everything, but I don't know myself. I don't know anything. She must accept the place. Who does she think we marry her? With one kidney left. <laughs> you must convince her. I mean, in our own interest, you must convince her. Eh? I don't want to understand this man. Eh? I know you, you have a point. Why, why are you saying all these things? I don't understand you. Doctor, you sent for me. I'm here now and... Uh... Well, I... I... I was only reflecting on all that just happened this one month. But I can't help myself but uh, wonder Wonder, wonder about what? I don't understand. You see, um... Doctor, there's obviously something on your mind. Out with it, talk to me. You see, I wasn't thinking of anything in particular. But I must say that you are a freedom getter. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Me you're traveling. Why am I supposed to tell you everything I do? You want me to tell you where I'm going to? Am I not your friend? No, not anymore. I thought you were my friend. So you know, yeah, I finally lost Obina. Let me just get out of this place. Let me just leave you and your town. Enjoy yourself. I need to just go pick up the pieces of my life. Come on, girl. It doesn't come to that, okay? Go, please. I'll just take my leave then. Hola, hola. I'm really sorry for everything. I'm sorry for what I did to you. I'm sorry about what? So what will I do? Because I am not ready to wrestle with that little brat of Robin. That is why I want you to understand. Intentionally, I. So why did you do it? The Queen Mother forced me to do it, and because I love him so much, I just wanted to please her. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. It's alright. I forgave you a long time ago. Thank you. Look. 
gives life, love brings joy, love brings peace that would never cease. Love brings pain. Doctor, yes. I'm ready to go, but I can't find my novel. Oh, it's here. Thank you. I'll have to leave now. I'll see you. I'll do. There is something inside the novel. I have a secret to tell you first. I wear this to scare away gold diggers around me. I've been searching for a mother figure, someone to be the mother of my children. You know that roses are red, diamonds are forever, and my love for you will never, never die. Aledo, would you marry me, please? 